Thank you very much. And coming up this morning on AM, a real sports extravaganza. Doug Plank and Dan Hampton are going to be joining us from the Chicago Bears. They had the uh, special hour meeting last night after practice. We're going to find out if that had any effect on the players. But right now, this was the look of big-time soccer here in Chicago last Thursday. That's Comiskey Park. The Sting are trouncing right there in the semifinals of uh, Montreal, 4-2. to two. They had a record crowd. Look at that, 27,000-plus in attendance. And that is exciting. And you're going to get a chance to see that again tomorrow night. Come on, soccer fans. we got a potential winner right here in Chicago. I want you to meet three, just three of the stars from the Sting. First next to me, Carl Heinz Granitza and Arno Steffenhagen and Ingo Peter. And gentlemen, congratulations so far on a fabulous season. Thank you. Thank How you feel? Much. Okay? Very good. All right. Now, you're in a three-game playoff against San Diego. You played out in San Diego Saturday night. You lost out there. You still got two chances, but we're back home now, right? Yes. What's going to be the difference about being back in Chicago against San Diego? First of all, I must say, uh, I must say again, thank you for the fans. We have great fans the last time, and yeah. I expect Wednesday a super crowd again. And I expect a win, <clears throat> not only Wednesday and Monday too. We're coming for sure in the final. We feel everybody confident, and that's why we come today yeah. to you in the show. All right, that's good. <laughs> now, we will have captions uh, under everyone today speaking. You're all, you're all German, right? Everybody's German. Yeah, yeah. Very, this is a very German team. Connection. Uh, yeah, the German Same connection. Yeah, yeah. Same as San Diego. They are part of German, yeah. and we are part of German. Are you all working for the CIA on the side too? By the... <laughs> okay. Arno, you said at Saturday night there was kind of a uh, a controversial call against one of the referees. The, one of the referees called against you. Uh, you said it was one of the worst calls you've seen, and you think that you lost the game because of that. Now, you still feel that way a couple of days after the game? Well, obviously, you still feel that way. It's just uh, you can't do anything about it anymore. And uh, we just have to go out there tomorrow. And, uh, you know, with, uh, with the help of the cross, I think we can make it. And uh, we can uh, beat them and beat them on Monday again. Now, Ingo, you've, you've played San Diego a couple times this year. They have a, uh, a goalie who is one of the biggest goalies in the world. He's like 6'3", he's 220 pounds. Volkmar Gross, you are the only three on the Sting team that have scored against him. And in the playoffs, mm -hmm. they do pretty well against you guys. What, you have any new strategies against him tomorrow night, Ingo? No, I met him uh, last night and I just told him he should watch uh, the corner. I scored one goal in the left corner last year against him and it was a little bit teasing you know? yeah. and he told me about the referee they had the referee in Portland and uh, he was a totally home referee and they had the same uh, problems and it happened all the time do we have that same referee here tomorrow night? no no we we'll changed the referee we we'll talk already <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, uh, yeah. that home referee will be alright for us that referee is now in Duluth, Minnesota <laughs> doing little league soccer <laughs> yeah, right. you mentioned the fans 27,000 plus the other night. Does it really make a difference when you have that many people to you? I must say again, just super defense. The left soccer right now, we build a team up right now. And um, uh, four seasons ago, I never believed this crowd in Chicago. Everybody say, come on, football, baseball. We, everybody love the Bears, we love the Cubs, we love White Sox, we love everybody in Chicago, professional sports. The difference is we play professional soccer, we build up a sport, and we need people. Yeah. And right now in the playoff, uh, I expect really 30, 35,000, maybe 40,000 people Wednesday. And oh, I think again. double that. I think we get 80,000 out there tomorrow. Sold all this better. Yeah, sold out would be great. <laughs> Do you think, though, that Chicago now is finally starting to become a, a soccer town, Arno? Well, it seems that way because uh, uh, the last games we have got, as you said, 27,000, yeah. and uh, we expect a big crowd tomorrow. And, uh, well, you know, if you just keep on uh, playing that way we play and uh, maybe get the trophy home to Chicago, oh, I think, then, uh, then uh, we will have that crowd. We actually deserve it. Actually. Has it been difficult for you, because soccer in America is so new, relatively new, and you guys have played in Germany. What kind of crowds would you play in front of in Germany, for example? Oh, it's different. Uh, 25,000 maybe average for the first division, and yeah. uh, that's good. But uh, now they have a little bit of problem, and if you see uh, the average here in the NASL, and the most teams, they can be proud of the crowds here, and especially now Chicago. I think our friends are really like uh, friends, good friends, and we build it up slowly, and every year the average was higher, and mm -hmm. now, you know, we have an average 22,000 in the playoffs. I think that's very good. How is the quality of soccer? in the United States compared to on a continent in Germany. Is it getting better? 
My feeling is uh, our team can play in almost every division in the world. You think right, so, really? Right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we had two guys they're coming later from Germany in June 1st, and, uh, you know, they didn't know what, what they expect here. And, and then they played, and they were really surprised. They didn't know the league was so tough. And all the <clears> teams from Europe, they come over, they lose. You know, they have a transatlantic cup, Seattle, yeah. your team. Uh, That's where I was from, right? the transatlantic team, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. cup, and, you, you know, that shows anything. We're having a good conversation. Will you stick around for a couple more minutes? We've got a break away for uh, a commercial right now, but three very nice fellows. And believe me, all the Sting are like, all soccer players are nice guys like this. We'll be right back. We'll talk to uh, the Sting some more. They might even show us a couple of special tricks. So stay with us as AM continues. <laughs> Members of the Chicago Sting are with us this morning. Carl Heinz Gunitza, Arno Steffenhagen, and Ingo Peter. They are competing. In the semifinals, they've got to win two more games, and then they will be in Soccer Bowl, which is the that's the biggest thing. We It's like a Super Bowl of soccer. We could have a championship team here, Chicago. Brace yourself. <laughs> I know it would be a shock to all of us. Now, all three of you guys married? Yes. Someone's married to a local Chicago girl. Yeah, Ingo. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been married, Ingo? Uh, nine months. Nine Probably months? Just got married. Yeah. You met her here, huh? Yeah, I met her. Where is she now? Is she in Chicago watching? No, no. She's in Germany. She's in Carl's wife, and uh, they're waiting to come to Toronto to the final, coming back. And they're going to come and visit you. And after every win, they're going shopping. They it's do? very expensive. <laughs> and they win Wednesday, they're going again shopping. This is unbelievable. Isn't that nice? I'm glad to see you suffer the same problems that all the rest of us guys do. <laughs> how, do how do you work this out, though, with the wives so far away and you guys playing all the time? It, it, it's got to be a difficult life for you a little bit, isn't it, Arno? Oh, my wife is here. So She's no here. For me. You're in good shape. <laughs> No, this is not difficult. Uh, my wife is a typical home wife from Germany. She's all the time homesick, and the children need sometimes all pound all my in Germany, and that it <laughs> should be nice. Uh, every month to go back to Germany. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, for my wife it was a good experience to go by herself. You know, to find out if she could live there in Germany. Maybe we go back one day. But I, I, I think yes. Stay here in Chicago because I like it really. Good, it's great. Although you know, I you some of you soccer players have pretty good reputations for you know having a lot of fun after a soccer match, drinking a little bit. Yeah, sometimes people they can believe uh, we drink maybe sometimes a little bit more beer, but you know we are all Germans and we drink beer. We grew up with beer, and uh, then we run 19 minutes and have only 10 10 minutes break, and people they can believe it. But, you know, we did it when we started at a young age and yeah. we were in pretty good shape. You know, just yeah. a while. Yeah. You need it. We need to get it back. Yeah, it's better than Coke. Isn't it? it is better than Coke. That's what they say. Don't, although, uh, don't let the Coca-Cola people hear <laughs> you say that. <laughs> just, just a moment. I want to switch subjects for a second. There, uh, you know, the, the rugby team that's going around right now, the athletes, the spring, spring box are going around, and they don't want to let them play here in the United States because of the South African situation. I wonder, have you guys talked to them, or do you know any of them, or any thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, Anna lives two years in South Africa. Well, you know, I live there, but I don't know any of the, uh, of the players. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it's going to be tough as a, as a uh, uh, as an athlete, though. Do you, how do you feel about the position that they're in, Arno? Yes, I I don't think uh, politics should interfere in, in sports, and uh, uh, especially a team like uh, Springboks are really uh, a very good rugby team. And uh, if they come here to the states, I think they should get a chance to play. Would you do us one favor for a moment? You've got a ball here, Carl. One of the most amazing things that soccer athletes can do are what they call the headers, which are bouncing the, the balls off. Could you and Ingo give us just a little demo right now on how you... Yeah, we want to practice with you a little bit, too. You want to practice with yeah, me a little bit, too? Oh, isn't yeah. this exciting? Yeah, cool. This could be the death. Who's yeah. going to be on what side? Yeah. This, this, this no, that's okay. You can yeah. do that on. Yeah? Yeah. Just don't okay. swallow it or anything. That's yeah. a Now, this is... Just hit ball. Yeah, but sometimes they do this from 30 or 40 yards away. Arno's actually the best header, so we're saving his yeah. brow for the big yeah. match tomorrow night. Yeah. What's the yeah. secret? I mean, how do you keep your head from getting ripped off? Ah! Yeah, you see, this is wrong here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Just with it. If you just expect the it. ball and you know, you know the ball is coming, there's no problem. I mean, if somebody shoots and you don't expect the ball, that, that hurts a lot. Yeah, but let him know. Yeah. Should I give it a try? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Is my insurance policy paid up? Does anybody know? <laughs> no All right, problem. here we go. There you go. There you go. All right. Thank you. There you go. I'll be getting in good shape. Carl, yeah. good luck tomorrow Thank night. Carl Heinz Gunitsa and Arno Steffenhagen. Arno, nice meeting you. And Ingo, nice you. best of luck. Just to whoop them tomorrow night. Okay. Sandy, you're out at Comiskey Park. Get out there and support them, everybody. Next, the Chicago Bears are coming up. We'll be right back. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much.